friends uh, i hope you are enjoying the series in my sequel and it is adding a lot of value to your knowledge so let's move forward and look look into the right joints which are available in sequel so basically there are two tables let's say table a and table b and we are doing a right join we want all the columns all the tables all the rows which are present in table b to come up in our output result so we'll be using the right join in that particular case so as in the screen you can see there are two tables table a and table b so the common elements which are matching in both the tables they are come they are marked in orange and that comes up in our result while the common uh, while the elements all the rows which are present in table b they also come up in our results let us see this in our editor so in this in the previous example when we were looking into the inner joints we created two tables the first table was the customer details table from which we were having the customer details and the other table which we created was the order details where we had the details of the customer id and the order id which is placed by that particular customer and we performed a inner join let us perform a right join on this and let us see the result this would also help us to get a difference on what uh, what comes when we do a, when we do a inner join and what comes when we do a right join so i have the code ready with me i'll just hit enter so you have the result here i have the order id column and all the order ids which were present in the in our order details table have come up and since there was no customer name for order id 18 this is being uh, displayed as null and null and while there was also no name for order id 21 so it is being displayed uh, displayed as null and null let us just cross verify this coming to customer id 18 the customer id is 8 do we have a customer whose id is 8 no that's why it was coming out as null coming to order id is 21 the customer id is 10 do we have a customer id 10 that is no so that is why null comes up but you would wonder why does not the customer id comes up because in this table we have we were having 10 and 5 so here 10 and 5 should come up the reason behind this is so in the code you can see we are telling to get all the details of the customer id column from table a so since table a does not contain any records for order id 18 that means customer id 8 this value does not comes up so we'll be replacing a with b and let us see what comes out in the output do we have the results yeah we have so you can see the customer id has come up now also one more thing so when we do a right join so the table name which is mentioned before right join that acts as the left table and the table name which is mentioned after right join that acts as the rightmost table and all the columns corresponding to the rightmost table would come up in our results you guys to practice a lot on the joins because this is a very important concept which are commonly asked